Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a zigzag tutorial and this is a style that I often wear with a tail hanging down. The original zigzag video has the all the tails up tucked like a turban and this is with a tail hanging down. It's a slightly different technique. So I've got my Cloud9 Shaper, my Perfect Proof Scrunchie, putting it on. I guess I could have started a video like this but alas I did not. Okay, so first off, this is the scarf that I'm not going to have with a tail. Now, if you are doing a zigzag, just remember that like the angles are going to be created like so. So you want the middle of the shaper to be in a place that you, the scarf is not ex um, exposing that V. So you take the scarf and find the middle and then you tie it on an angle like so and then tie a knot at the back there you go now i'm going to take this scarf and select which side i want the tail to be on now i'd like the tail to be on this side so i'm going to have the shorter end starting at this side i'm going to fold it I love this scarf so, so much. And then have it angled like so, but with the short end, I'm gonna make it even shorter. Yeah. Now, basically based on how big your head is, is um, how much zigzag you're gonna be able to get out of this and how long the scarf is. So we'll see what I can do with my head shape and with this scarf length. I haven't actually tried this before. So I'm gonna shut my door because we are, here at work. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna bring these two reds to this side. And now we start the zigzagging. Bring this up and around. And then tuck it in like so back here. And with the zigzag, you do not need to worry so much at, about the ends at the beginning. You can straighten them up a little bit later. Okay, I have selected. Uh, that's a bit, a bit more yellow than I'd like. So I'm gonna see if I can get more of the turquoise. Yes, and the blue. So you can really, the great thing about this scarf is you can really select what color you wanna highlight. There you go. Okay, and now once more, I'm going to take this red one around. I basically, as you can see, I brought this around here. I did not tie anything, but what I'm going to do actually first is I'm going to put this clip in before I bring this around. So basically you put it upside down, kind of approximately at the spot where you'd like it to be. And then you can bring that around again with this creating that zigzag at top. And I want to make sure this is pulled tight enough, even though it's not really tied in yet. And again, you can just tuck these ends in. They will be covered up eventually. There you go, we have that here. And I'm gonna hide that tag, obviously. This is gonna be covered up, don't worry about it. Now you can take this end and I'm basically gonna fold this in like so and use the whole thing to cover up this, um, my sister-in-law Naomi likes to say like squirrely and the situation. <laughs> and then, oops, there is another squirrely end. Then you can take this and tuck it in here and basically the best thing to do with um, the zigzag is now just get those ends in. Like you wanna be basically coming around like this with your hand to get all those ends tucked in and secured away. It will stay secure. I'm feeling that there's some fringes here that I'm gonna get tucked away. I can't see the back of my head for this tutorial, but I'm hoping that it looks good from the back. There we go. 
and then I can adjust that pin really nice and uh, maybe I'll take it down a little bit I like my clips to be a little farther down there we go and there you have it zigzag crisscross with a tail thank you bye